The last six games these two teams have played, there have been three ties over two years. So you put all those numbers together, and we expect an exciting and close game this afternoon. The winner is the national champion in men's Division I ice hockey in 1994-95. And in these short-handed situations, is watching the rest Shot by Sherman and off the glove with the left pad of Noble. Lovell also out there. Torrey has the puck at his feet, gets a teed up, shoots. Trevor Ronick, the back. is a swarming kind of team. They get a lot of shots on goal. Their defensemen put a high percentage of shots on goal. Here's Shermerhorn from the right dot. He makes the save, makes the save there and kicks it to the side. Here's the shot. And they see Ronick in front. That's what I mean. They swarm in front, come in front, try to chip in rebounds. Title and Jeremy's team, the Blackhawks, think they have what it takes to maybe win a Stanley Cup this year. Uh, great shorthand, Lachance and Bates, and here Greer and Thornton. Here's the shot first as he puts the pop right there on the inside on Tom Tim Lovett. And that's a physical mismatch as Lovett's about 160. That's about 240 against 160. And only a couple of shots on the BU goal. Here's Drury causing havoc in the slot. The shot saved by Allison. Rebound is cleared aside. So they, when the Providence team is in here, they have the, the regular. Smart. Uh, oh, oh, a man. score for Boston University right off the face off. Steve Thornton. Thornton is raising his stick in jubilation. A power play goal for BU. I think this is a shot right off the faceoff. I think he just snaps this off the faceoff. Watch it. And beats Allison. He, he controlled it. Just controlled it. Won his own faceoff. Got the shot off. Boy, Boston University badly outshot here. Only four shots on goal in the first period. But Steve Thornton, arguably the most valuable player on this Boston University team offensively and defensively. And an uncharacteristic breakdown for Maine. They don't often break down in those kinds of situations. But Thornton made a great individual play. 17th goal of the season. Steve Thornton unassisted. Rather, top of the circle. Conlon with the shot. Noble with the save. Squeezes, but oops, gets through. Oh, so close. Cleared by the chance. That last bit, here's the shot. Watch it squeeze through. Watch it squeeze through. Squeeze, but not quite squeezed enough. Sometimes you need to be a little lucky as well. Well, they brought Jeff Libby out to help them in the end zone defense, but he can't catch Bates, but he mushes Bates right up against the wall. Now, Bates went over to the boards to talk to referee Levitt about why he didn't get a holding call. Puck comes back inside, and Bates and Libby out of Waterville, Maine, just keep getting after it. The two guys right behind the line. And Libby doing exactly what he needs to do here. Gives him uh, Bates a little <laughs> shot in the mouth. And that's the one Bates was really complaining about. Oh, Sullivan down low. Out to Greer. Takes the wrist shot. Save Allison. Rebound. Another rebound. They score. Chris O'Sullivan. Constant pressure paid off for the Terriers. They take a 2 0 lead. Twenty-second goal of the season for number three, Chris O'Sullivan. Well, a sophomore out of Dorchester, Massachusetts. Greer with the shot. O'Sullivan is camped right to the left of the net. There's Stevie Thornton. He takes a whack at it, but O'Sullivan right there, chip shot up and over, just inside the far post. Everybody banging at a good goal scorer. O'Sullivan right there. He's a left shot, standing there to the right of the goal. The, all the net is to his side. He's a off wing shot there, left wing. Uh, into that, looks into center. Still looking. Kylina down low. Right in front, Jaber Allison. Once, but not twice. Jacques Jaber. And it's 3 to nothing, Boston University. John Walsh may be going to plan C. Uh, Jacques Joubert is a great power play player. He gets his 12th power play goal, his 29th of the season. See, Joubert's right there. Problem is, when this puck comes from behind the net, Joubert's wide open. Nobody saw him, nobody watching him. He's got all sorts of time to take that puck, takes the rebound and puts it over Allison. No chance at all. Here we see it from another angle, and Joubert to the right side of the net. Here's the original save. That's the one you want the goalie to make. But there's nobody over there to help as they set up behind the net. 
Maine's defense in zone got lost, and they all got over the left side, leaving Jabir alone. This season is 12th on power play. He's got a little dance already when he scores. Is he a music major? He's going to be a conductor? <laughs> to go here in the second period. The latest goal by Jacques Joubert. And are they celebrating in Boston? Right now they are. The Terriers lead it 3 zip. On side at center. Two on one. Fred at the pass. The shot score! Maine is on the board. The ice. Frenette with the puck. Two on one created here. Zips it over to Lovell. I thought Lovell might have missed the chance when he had trouble controlling the pass. But he gets that puck up and over. Goal 10 to Noble, and that's a huge goal. Here's Rodrigue with that shot. Hits traffic in front. Rodrigue gets it back. Down low. Server hard, and Noble slides over to save the day. Oh, boy. Now a five on four power play. Maine still set up in the BU zone. Rodrigue, the shot hit the outside. The first rebound, and the score. I believe it, Trevor Roenick. For Ian Rodrigue, Trevor Horn had just been stolen at a spot, an attempt stolen by Noble. Rodrigue with the shot on the net, so often on the net, Roenick with the rebound. Boy, did Noble make a save on Sherma Horn. He stoned Sherma Horn to the right of the net, but when you have those rebounds out in front, those are just nothing but trouble, and Jeremy Roenick, not Jeremy, Trevor <laughs> Roenick, wrong guy, gets the goal. Center for Maine, gets it over to Conlon. Conlon gives it away to Pandolfo. That was an ill-advised pass. Don't keep it out high. Back come the other way is Bates. Bates is right on it, center shot, scores! Sylvia, and it's four to two. made a mistake and paid for it. Yeah, they sure did. Very, very careless pass by Conlon. You don't want to make a lateral pass out high. He made a lateral pass high, and the wrong guy got it. Bates, he has tremendous skill. He's been about as hot as anybody in the league. And this mistake has turned into a goal, and he just twists Torrey right around. Lateral pass high. See you later. Pandolfo picks it up, gives it to Bates. Watch him twist Torrey around. Great play, Bates. Stish over to Sylvia. Whack it in the net. That's going to be Sylvia from Pandolfo and Bates. Doesn't take very long. Chance. O'Sullivan cross ice. Misses connections with Thornton. Steve Thornton with it. Behind the net to Greer. Greer back, Greer back out to Brennan. Save Allison. Rebound in front. It's in the net. O'Sullivan. Power play goal. 5 2. We're talking about the killer. That might be it, Bob. O'Sullivan gets the goal. Brennan the shot here. And this is one of the few times that Allison hasn't been able to control the rebound. The rebound got too far out in front of him, and O'Sullivan, again, left shot coming in from the right side. When you can't control that rebound, as Iams tries to clear it, O'Sullivan pops it in. O'Sullivan gets the goal as 22nd of the season. Eight on power play from the kid out of Dorchester. Little for Maine, still got some speed in those legs. Hits Wansborough behind the defense, defense, and the shot is blocked off nicely by Noble. He was going for the five hole, almost got it. For Hockey East to be a strong lead, a strong league, and continue to be, it needs a resurgence of programs at Providence and Boston College. And don't forget the brand new Division One program at University of Massachusetts Amherst. The fans are standing up in the corners and all over this building where there's red and white cheering their team. Here's Thornton, got a good shot, passes to Latanz, he scores with 113 to go, and a shorthanded tally will wrap it up at 6-2. Again, you can't blame Allison, and you can't blame the main kids. I, I think they were tired coming in. Showed a lot of guts and determination to make it a 3-2 game, but BU just too much this afternoon. Bobby Lachance, who had not had a goal since February 5th in the bean pot, gets his 12th of the season, his first on shorthand. Thornton, what a player he's been. What a way to go out as a senior. Beautiful pass over to Lachance one time to buy Allison, and Bobby Lachance gets back-to-back -back goals. Huge goal and an assist last night against Michigan. Gets a goal as 12th of the season tonight, his first on short end. And through that whole time between February and now, and April 1st, Bobby Lachance, not scoring goals, played his best hockey of the season. Maybe one more goal? No. But a national championship for Boston University, it's done.